Good afternoon, beautiful people. <laughs> Good afternoon, beautiful people. Uh, Maureen's not sure if she wants to waste your time with why I'm always the one not allowed to drive. <laughs> but uh, we went to. She would be trying to video team while driving. <laughs> we went to the Blockchain World Conference uh, in Atlantic City today, and uh, she wants to share with you her thoughts of what she learned today. Um, I want to share my thoughts. Yeah, what did you learn uh, no, today? I don't want to share my thoughts, but I'll share what I learned today, which was that um, if uh, let's start over. Sorry. There's there's no retake. You gotta keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, one thing I guess I don't know. I wouldn't say that I just learned it, but I'd say that one thing that keeps getting keeps getting left out of conversations when it comes to regulators is all the other regulators who are um, involved in the cryptocurrency space such as CFTC, um, Department of Treasury, which is the IRS, um, FinCEN, and state legislators as well. So I think um, we've been focusing mostly on the SEC and the things that the chairman and the different commissioners have been saying and directors, but we're not, um, I don't think the community is paying attention to the issues that um, CFTC is addressing in terms of um, virtual currencies that are not considered securities, but they're considered a commodity such as Bitcoin. Uh, is there any special thing about commodities or in particular futures that you want to mention? Um, well, one thing that I learned today from one of the talks was that if you're, and this is assuming, I haven't done any research on it, so I'm not suggesting anyone realize so Leo, what This I'm is not here, legal advice. This is my, this is just what I remember hearing from the top of my head. Yes, this is not legal advice. So if you um, have a virtual currency or a crypto that is not considered a security, but is considered a commodity, um, if you issue or if you sell that security, and I'm sorry, that um, commodity, and um, don't issue it within a certain amount of time, then that might be considered um, a future. And so then there are other rules and regs that you have to um, comply with to be able to do that. So that's why I say the SEC is not the only regulatory body that um, cryptocurrency issuers should be concerned about or concerned with. Brilliant. Thank you very much for sharing those thoughts with us. And in a special... I can't look at the camera. You can't look at the camera. But in a special guest moment, we have... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Marie Moret at Crowdy Advisors on Twitter and Instagram. And in a special guest moment, we have Dr. Gray, Tiffany Gray there in the back. She also joined us today. Man, I got a big head. Uh, let me try to get my big head out of here. What did you learn at today's conference? Um, well, I got the opportunity to meet a couple other folks within the blockchain and healthcare space as well as a couple other folks um, looking to utilize blockchain for social good and social impact, which is in line with the uh, UN's initiative and uh, committees on blockchain for uh, impact, the BFI, um, which we launched in June um, of this year. And so as I've been working with you, Samson Williams, to develop the <laughs> criteria for our subcommittee as well as uh, make new connections. Um, it was great to meet other interested folks, including Michael Landau, who's doing some great work out of Uganda, um, which we will be convening for our next uh, UN meeting in, I believe it's November. Um, and in the meantime, we'll also be having a couple other smaller meetups and uh, of other working groups to flesh out more of um, identifying pilot projects for blockchain in health. Brilliant. And where can people find out more about blockchainforimpact.org? I believe it's blockchainforimpact.org, um, as well as contact me, Tiffany Gray, on LinkedIn, as well as uh, Twitter. And yeah. Brilliant. Thank you both. Uh, what did for, you learn today? Are you going to oh, contribute anything? Or are you just going to be the cameraman? I'm, I'm the cameraman. I'm the guy behind the camera because my head is too big to fit in the frame with everyone else. 
Um, so thank you guys very much for joining us for this episode of Bitcoin for Introverts. If you have a question or a comment, drop it below. In our next episode, we're finally going to get around to why Maureen won't let me drive. And it has something to do with the ban for Saudi women, which is very interesting because I'm neither a woman nor in Saudi Arabia. But that's a question for a later date and time. Have or a not at all. <laughs> <laughs> have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye.